How many of y'all have older brothers and sisters? Older. Oh. Okay. Do they do they ever, especially when you were little, did, did they ever do things to trick you? Or try to scare you anything? Like maybe tell you there was a monster that lived in the trash can. And when mommy said, take the trash out, when you pull the lid off, he's going to grab you. Boom, say, <laughs> Or maybe that out behind the house in the bushes lived a ghost. A ghost that ate little kids. And he would tell you this right when your mother said, What's your name? Craig, go out in the backyard and get something for me. And you went and opened the door and your brother said, Don't forget the monster in the bushes. And Craig goes, <laughs> well, my brother used to tell me, tell me stories about monsters that lived all over the place. And, and he used to do all kinds of things like that. But one thing my brother didn't like to do was to share. Do any of y'all not, you ever get accused of not sharing? Probably not, y'all. Yeah. I know all of y'all share. share. Okay. Oh, yeah, I know. I you love to share. share. Well, let me tell you, my brother, my brother got a brand new 10 speed bicycle. Ooh. Bright red. Is this true? Yeah, it's true. And, and my brother got this bicycle. And he told me, see, I was a little bit younger than him. He came up to me and he said, Johnny, see that bicycle over there? Real nice, isn't it? You touch it and I'm ripping your face off. <laughs> And he meant it too. And it's really bad to walk around those face. So I never touched it. But because he told me that, I really, really wanted to. Y'all don't ever do that, right? Yeah. No. But I, I really wanted, I mean, I just wanted to like walk by and go and just touch it just so I could say, I touched it. But he might break my finger. But one day, one day I got a plan. I decided I was going to ride that bicycle. Oh, <laughs> so in the morning when I got up, I told my mother, I don't feel good. And I think like I was sick. And my mother, she was a school teacher, so she was pretty smart. But she didn't have time to fool with me that day. So she said, okay, you can stay home. Everybody else went off to school. Well, my brother went, went out the door to get on the bus. Got halfway out the door and he turned around and he looked at me. He was kind of suspicious and he said, Remember what I said. And I went, <laughs> He went out and he got on the bus. And as soon as that bus pulled away, I was out of the bed, out the backyard, out to the garage, and there was the red bicycle. I mean, my brother, every time he rode it, he got off of it. He'd take and he'd wipe every speck of dust off of it. He kept it perfectly shiny clean. All I wanted to do was find a mud puddle to ride around. <laughs> so I got on that bike. Now there was one problem. My brother was a little bit bigger than me. And I found out as I pushed the bike out the driveway, and we lived on top of this big hill, and jumped on it, that my feet weren't long enough to reach the pedals. <laughs> And he'd been working on it, and so the brakes didn't work. And I started down this hill, <laughs> like 90 miles an hour. And I passed the school bus <laughs> with my brother sitting on it. And he's sitting there. <laughs> and he leans out the window, I'm going to rip your feet off! And I'm going, Came down in the middle of town, cars are going, <laughs> can't stop, going, shoom out to the Lucky for me, unlucky for the bicycle, there was a building at the end of the street. <laughs> I went flying through the air, through the window. <laughs> a building where they make candy apples. <laughs> they have a big vat full of red sticky stuff. 
right in the middle of it. I crawl out and I grab the bicycle, which wouldn't roll too good anymore, because the front tire, instead of being round, was kind of shaped like this. So I'm pulling the bicycle up the hill and this stuff's starting to harden, you know? My brother, sitting in the classroom at school, <laughs> sees this red guy <laughs> carrying this red bicycle with a kind of flat front wheel and he couldn't open the window and he put his face on it begins to go <laughs> <laughs> so I made it up to the house lucky my mother got home first and she walked in the house and I'm standing in the living room like this <laughs> and she came over and she said, she didn't even ask me what happened. See, I did a lot of this stuff like this. So she went and she got a little hammer and she started going. <laughs> and, Brett, and then she pulled the pieces off and all the hair would come off. All the hair came off of it. And she had to cut my hair shorter than yours. And get all the red stuff out. And when my brother came home, he laughed so hard. He forgot about ripping my face off. <laughs> Which she didn't need to do because my mother had already done it when she pulled my stuff <laughs> off my face. But I did have to buy him a new wheel for his bicycle. And, but I never did ride it again. <laughs> I kind of learned my lesson on that. <laughs>